Let's take a closer look at the tower in terms of strength, mobility, and awareness. Remember we're working with the power tower, so when we make any incline adjustments, the patient can be on the machine. However, when you're working with the GTS for sport, you want to have the patient get off the machine, then adjust the incline accordingly, and then have the person get back on. So, when we're talking about strength, the higher you go, sometimes the exercise becomes harder or easier. With reference to squats, or really when the glide board is moving, the higher you go, the harder the exercise becomes. Now, there's a tweak here. Some exercises actually become easier. For instance, a roll-up. So if I have Jeff here breach his arms back, he can transition his feet down and move into a roll-up. This actually makes the exercise a lot easier for a participant. So if the person is starting to move down, the patient, as they build success and strength, they can start to transition the incline level down, making the exercise harder and harder. Another exercise that actually becomes easier the higher the incline level is are planks. So I'm gonna have Jeff straddle, slowly transition off the glide board. Now you can do uh, planks facing the tower, but I also like doing planks with the glide board all the way up. When it's about at incline 13, the board's about horizontal to the ground. So I'm gonna decrease the incline, making the board level, and now he can go into planking. From here, he can have his hands right here. He can move into upper body drivers, lower body drivers. He can do into little plyometric jumps with his feet. The lower I bring that incline, the more challenging it becomes. Now remember, you can do forearm planks, you can also transition to side planks, or even go into reverse planks. Higher you go, the easier the exercise becomes. So now let's talk about mobility. The higher you go, it's easier and can accommodate when you're facing away for the tower. For instance, I'm gonna have Jeff sit with his rear toward the top edge of the glide board facing away from the tower. Here, if his legs are out straight, I can accommodate for hamstrings if I decide to bring the incline level up. The more I bring the incline level down, the harder the exercise becomes with respect to flexibility, assistant, flexibility range of motion. Now I'm gonna have him go the other way. I'm gonna have him sit facing the tower. Now we do a lot of rowing exercises here. So when you remember, when you face the tower, the higher the incline, the more the person is likely to go into a posterior tilt because of the tightness of the hamstrings. So you have to remember that the, when you face the tower, hamstrings becomes more challenged. If that's the case, remember back to that glide board tweak that we can bring the glide board up to accommodate for hamstring flexibility. So last but not least is awareness. So one of the nice elements about the tower height is that sometimes the higher the exercise, you have more strength and resistance. But then you can transition that same exact movement pattern and focus more on awareness. And that's when jumping is a great exercise to demonstrate this. So I'm gonna have you stand up. Jeff's gonna transition by straddling, pushing the board up, and move into squats. So plyometrics, is a great way to build strength and endurance. But when I'm trying to focus more on the core stabilization, I'm gonna have them start with alternating jumps. It assists a little bit with that spine stabilization. Bilateral jumping might start with a lot of arching or compensation. The lower you go, all of a sudden the exercise transforms from more of a strength focus to more of an abdominal core stabilization exercise. Exact incline level will be dependent upon your patient. But note, jumping for stabilization is great. It's like jumping on a reformer without, with a low load. It's very similar to that in terms of how it transforms into more of a stabilization. So from here, I'm gonna have Jeff slowly roll up to sitting, and I'm gonna go over one more thing with respect to stabilization and the height of the tower. I'm gonna slowly come off. When we move into lunges, the higher you go with the incline height, the more the exercise is focused in on strength. Now there'll be a point where you really want the incline to be about as level as possible. So what we tend to do is then bring the incline level down because now we're trying to accommodate for more of the pelvis being neutral. We can use a standing platform, we can use the floor, we can use a BOSU, whatever you want that dynamic surface to be with the supporting leg. Now if he's moving into lunges, and I feel like I want the board as level as possible with the floor, but it's too light. So it requires a lot of stabilization. In this instance, 
you could, yes, up the incline, but then again, you're tweaking the spinal alignment. You can also weight down the board, or you as a therapist can come in and assist or resist the board to apply that extra weight to the board so it doesn't require as much stabilization. So to make an analogy, which I'll use multiple times, is if you lower the incline level down and you're doing lunges, it's like walking on ice versus walking on concrete. It requires a lot of stabilization and balance. So weighting down the board is another great option when you start to lower the incline level down.